there are three aspects of this um, problem. First is that um, nicotine, although not known as being a professional carcinogen, uh, still has uh, ability to damage DNA of the cells that would uh, in turn lead to mutation in cancer. In addition to that, uh, nicotine can promote growth already existing um, tumors because it works as a universal uh, promoter by uh, competing with the um, non-neuronal uh, cytotransmitter called acetylcholine. So competing with hormone-like substance, nicotine can aggravate any pre-existing condition. So that's as far as the ability of nicotine to cause cancer. It also can protect cancer from death because, again, working through the same system, uh, it activates receptors that are expressed in mitochondria and thus protect li life of cancer cells. And as a result of which, uh, nicotine uh, facilitate survival of cancer cells that are being treated um, with chemotherapy and radiotherapy. So people basically who consume nicotine containing products and yet at the same time receive chemotherapy, they may decrease efficacy of their treatment. And the last but not the least aspect of this problem is to use the receptors and the signaling pathways which are activated by nicotine to block that signaling and thus develop a novel approach to treating various types of cancers. Well, I have many different aspects of research, but the um, research in relation to action of nicotine uh, on cancer cells, I think the most um, important and yet uh, under-investigated and absolutely underfunded. So uh, whoever hears this should think about donating or uh, directing more funds into studying potential harmful effect of e e from the standpoint of the nicotinic pathways.